Hi everyone! Okay, so today's video, I'm so excited to finally show you how I'm going to do my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. I purchased it as a little birthday present for myself because, girl, I've been eyeing this product for such a long time. And I was like, finally, I think I'm going to do it because I love to do my hair. I don't wash my hair very often if you have been following me for a while. But this has so many different attachable heads. It has a little round brush, two brush sets, like one is firm and one is more of a stiffer, I mean a more softer brush bristle. And there's also a blow dryer handle little thing and then the infamous little spiral curl thingies. I did have to buy the longer barrel ones because my hair is super long. So it was like an additional 40 bucks each. Okay, so like I'm showing you <laughs> how long they are because, you know, I just wanted to compare but yeah, it was $40 each and I, I spent like $80 extra, so yes. But I really wanted to show you how I do my hair with this because it's amazing, amazing, amazing. So Dyson really knows how to make their hair products because this has an amazing heat flow. You can change how fast the air goes out of the machine and also like the heat temperature. And I also wanted to show you that you do have to change the heads every time you like do different sides of your head just so that the air goes in the opposite direction of your face see what I'm saying and I also wanted to show you this brush so this is the wet brush that has two different types of bristles and it helps to distribute the oil from the very tops of your hair down to the middle and to the ends I also wanted to show you what I like to put in my hair before I do the Dyson air wrap on my hair Olaplex is number six it's their bond smoother and it's so good for protecting my hair I'm sorry for my dog barking um, and also it helps with the frizz so that is really important to me because I hate when my hair is frizzy. My hair is freshly washed. I slept on it wet and then I just woke up with my hair air dried. And I really like doing it when it's in this stage because I don't like blow drying my hair too much when it's super wet. Of course I dry it with my microfiber towel but it's not really ideal to put so much heat on the hair when it's wet. So now I'm going to use the air wrap little spiral thingies. So a little tip for you that I have. So you see how like the bottoms of my hair kind of slide down. So I figured that I have to like kind of spin it. I can't really rely on the air to suck up all my hair. So in another clip I'll show you how I kind of spin it like I roll it up so that the ends don't slip out. And I'm not really leaving it on the hot setting for too long. So when I'm touching it, it's because I'm putting that cool shock on it. And then I let go and I get a really pretty curl. And this is with a thicker barrel. This is like the 1.25 inch. I don't know. It's not the skinny one. It's the chubbier circumference spiral thingy. Right here, I'm just showing you that I did have to change the head because I'm doing the right side of my head now. So this is where I show you how I found how not to let the ends slip out. So I have to roll it up and it stays and I found the technique guys because I was worried. I was like, oh my gosh, this is not working on my head. I was getting a little scared, but I think I found the technique. So I want to give you like a general idea of my hair and how it feels. So I have a lot of hair, but it's like medium to thick. So I just have a good combination because I felt heavier hair. I have cousins who have black, thick hair and it's super heavy. But mine doesn't feel so heavy, I mean, compared to like other girls I felt or hair before. But anyways, I really want to share that this does take a while for me because I do section my hair. Maybe takes no more than 25 minutes. Um, but look at how cool that is. That is so amazing. I love the technology of this. It's so different from any other styling tool I have. But if you guys have finer hair, this will probably take you no more than 20 minutes. It's definitely a, there's a learning curve to this, so you just need time and patience, but it just, it's outstanding. The results are so beautiful, and it looks like you went to the salon. Now I'm done with, like, the majority of my hair, and now it's for the fun part. I'm going to take off this little attachable head, and I'm going to put on the round brush because I like using this for the bangs of my hair. So I honestly am still learning how to do this properly because it doesn't really suck up your hair, so you kind of have to, like, do most of the work here. But I like a lot of volume, so that's where the round brush comes in handy because it really helps to lift the roots up because the spiral obviously is just giving you more of the curl. So that's why I use the round brush for my bangs because I want that va va boom in the front. OK, 
Okay, so here I'm struggling to like put the cool shock. Okay, so I don't think that it's gonna cut my hair or burn it off. I'm just trying to put some cool air onto it so it stays in place. That's a good styling tip if you did not know that. If you put cool air at the end, it helps to set the hairstyle in a way. So in here, I never really do this. I've never done it before. So I just put it a little clip and I looked very funny and I just put it on literally for like three seconds and I'm gonna take it off because I'm gonna show you like the final results so you can leave it on for longer and it'll keep the curl in for longer so what do you guys think I really love it but the final touch that I do is add some hair oil so this is from Olaplex the number seven it's such a great oil because it doesn't feel super oily it just is the perfect texture and consistency so I really don't put much I have long hair remember so if it does look like a lot you know but I just put it where I need more like of the moisture so the ends because remember the ends are the oldest parts of our hair so they're a little bit more brittle so let's give them some love and then with whatever is left I'll put it in the tops where I have a lot of flyaways but I hope you guys enjoy the video let me know if you guys are interested in the Dyson Airwrap and I will see you in my next video